We received something special in the mail. Yes, the guy is for you. Mm. Thank you. Something special has come in the mail. And we actually had it for quite a while, but uh, haven't been able to open it. Mm -hmm. And guys, guess what? It is for Legaya. Let's open it and check it out. Oh! Mabuhay squad. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Ligaya is watching intently from her cage. Yep, Ligaya, this is for you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it's a package in a package. Oh, wow. OMG. Look at this, guys. From Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. <gasps> How awesome. I want to open it. Oh, but, and they have their own ribbon. Oh, I love that. How cool. All right. Ligaya, now you have natural teas. Oh, so cool. Interesting. Look, guys. Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. Eternal Feathers. Organic Avian Herbal Tea. High quality organic ingredients. Oh, this is for healthy skin and feather production. Interesting. Oh, okay. So it contains chamomile, which is great. Chamomile is a great um, flower to put into the tea for birds who might be nervous or have anxiety, which is so important for um, really high strung and nervous birds, phobic birds like African greys. Perfect. We've got lavender. Very very nice, nice relaxing, and ginger root. Great, good for the stomach. I love it, awesome. And the next one is keep your bird at the peak of health. Ooh, another organic tea. This one can take, oh, dandelion leaf. I've been looking for dandelion leaf for so long. Awesome, and it contains Ceylon black tea. Decaffeinated, now that's a thing. Um, there are so many health benefits to black tea for parrots, but I'm scared that I can't tell which one is decaffeinated and, or truly decaffeinated and which one is just fakely decaffeinated milk thistle as well awesome and coriander seed amazing wow okay this one essential nutrients for happy birds <gasps> So cool. Hibiscus flower, I heard that's quite good. Rose hip, more dandelion leaf, and chamomile as well. Oh, how awesome. Okay, I don't know which to use first. They all look so good. I wanna try this. Hey guys, you got some tea. Let's try it. Now for those of you who might be watching, who might be new, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos, Ligaya, my African Grey, one of the family um, here on the channel. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. And every day is always different. There's always a new discovery, something to learn, something to enjoy and be grateful for and all of that good stuff. And this was an awesome gift. Thank you so much, Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique for this. I believe the makers of this were also featured in this book. Remember this book? This cookbook uh, for parrots that like pretty much taught me so much when I was raising Ligaya. There's a section here on teas, remember, that I used to rave about. Growing up, I used to give Ligaya teas as well. Well, I think the author of that tea section are the ones who produce these teas, these organic, high-quality parrot teas. It's great. It's great, especially for someone like me who lives here in Manila, Philippines. I can't get some of these ingredients readily, so this is pretty awesome. Okay. Oh, and it lasts long, best before November 30th, 2021. Okay, very good. I'll put this in the fridge anyway. So neat. So for those of you who are wondering what parrots need tea, okay, maybe they don't need tea, but if you find the idea of offering your birds tea weird, you also have to consider that in the wild, parrots and birds drink water from ponds and puddles. And in these ponds and puddles, leaves and sticks and random like organics fall in the water and the tannins and nutrients like leach into the water, like different various like nutrients that the bird also consumes when it's drinking the water from this from ponds and like tree hollows and whatnot off the leaves. So essentially birds drink tea. <laughs> And when I realized this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Like, other than like a natural spring, where is there a 
perfectly clear source of water or like running directly off a leaf like while drinking or like rain falling on your feathers I don't know but in ponds and stuff like all of the nutrients and antioxidants from like decaying leaves fill the water that the birds drink which is really cool um, and so yeah in the wild birds do naturally drink teas so I'm going to try this okay healthy skin and feather production essential nutrients for happy birds keep your bird at the peak of health oh my gosh what should I try first maybe I'll try essential nutrients for happy birds let's do that okay so it says we have to heat water just below boiling point ensure the water is between 70 to 80 degrees Celsius measure half one and a half teaspoon of loose tea per 10 ounce cup of hot water and place it in an infuser thank goodness we have a tea infuser <laughs> We're prepared. Pour it over with hot water. Ensure the tea is covered completely with water and steep for three to five minutes. Okay. When enough time has elapsed, remove the infuser. Allow it to cool to room temperature before serving. Add more water or less in depending on your bird's taste. So cool. Interesting. You can also put it in cold water and let it steep for six to 12 hours in the fridge. Interesting. And apparently you can even take the leaves and sprinkle it in her like veggie bowl for her to eat. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this. Okay, so this flavor says this robust tea blend is rich with flowers and leaves that produce a great tasting tea with full bodied flowers like hibiscus. You can provide vital minerals and nutrients like vitamin C that is known for being effective in increasing immune system function. This is a fantastic addition to very balanced and healthy diet. How awesome. Love this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, I've got the tea stuff in here. Mmm, and guys, it smells so good. I wonder if like humans are allowed to drink this. I think so because it's like organic and it's like ordinary tea botanicals. Okay, so I gotta let this cool off a little just below boiling it says because I guess you want to retain some of the nutrients. You don't want the heat to destroy some of the valuable nutrients in here. Mm. Guys, I can't get enough of it. It smells so good all in there. All in here. Now... Pouring, pouring, pouring. Oh wow, the water becomes like rose colored. Oh, so neat. All right. And do I like mix? Okay. And then how does it drip? I guess it drips slowly. How does this tea thing work? I've never used it before. Uh, it's dripping. Oh cool. Awesome, I love this. Oh, I see. So you just press this, press, see? Oh cool, oh my gosh. I'll let it really steep. So this red fluid is like super concentrated. Knowingly Gaia, she won't drink it. So it says you can add water to this to dilute it, um, just so it doesn't freak your bird out or whatnot. And then you can save it for up to two days. You can save it in the fridge for up to two days. And to be honest, I think if two days comes and we don't finish it all, I will drink it. This stuff's healthy, yo. All right. So cool. So I'll just let this drip and collect. And then um, we'll put some of it into Ligaya's water bowl and see how she likes it. Mmm, smells so good. Do you guys out there have birds? Have you ever fed them organic teas? I used to give Ligaya a peppermint and chamomile. She didn't like the peppermint so much, but it would help with um, digestion and uh, chamomile, which she used to love as a chick. I think she'll really get to love this. The hey guys, I got something for you. She is so curious. She watched me <laughs> pouring that tea. Yes, the guys, don't worry, you'll get to try it soon. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so this has already steeped for five minutes. See, all of this good stuff I'm gonna save and I'm gonna put in her veggie bowl for her to eat. But this, we have to let cool to room temperature and then um, I'm gonna add just a little bit to her water bowl so she could drink it. Um, it's also advised to have a separate tea bowl and a water bowl because some birds might not want to drink teas and you don't want them to get like thirsty because they're refusing to drink your tea water. So it's recommended that you have a tea bowl and a water bowl, two separate uh, bowls. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in her current water bowl because I know she will drink teas. This I will save and put in her veggie bowl to eat. Okay. I'm gonna add just a little bit here, like so. There, just make it slightly pink. There we go. And all 
the beneficial nutrients and minerals and all that good stuff is now in there in her water bowl. Let's see how she likes it. She had her eye on the water bowl. She's like, what are you doing? Okay, she wants me to scratch her. Okay, scratch, scratch, scratch. Such a good bird. So in case you're new to the channel, this bird, this African gray of ours is about a year and a half old now. She will be two years old in June. Yes, actually two days before my birthday. And she is just a sweetheart. They told me that as soon as she's an adult, this whole cuddly like nature of hers will go away. But no, she is still very very much so a cuddly bird. They say African greys can be kind of standoffish and not cuddly birds, but Ligaya here happens to love cuddles and love scratches. Although she has her hormonal times, as you might have seen in past videos, where she'll be like, don't touch me, don't stick your hand in my cage, don't come near me. <laughs> yes. You gonna try your new tea? Hmm? Try it. Okay, so of course with all of these um, awesome tea, what are these called? Tea leftovers? <laughs> I'm gonna put them in her veggie bowl because she can eat these. She can nibble on them. Yes. Mix that up. I'm gonna put it on one side in case she doesn't like them, but my hope is that she will try them nibble on. All right, goodies. Good stuff, yes. All right. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, so she's checking out the new tea stuff. Oh, she's checking it out. Oh, and she's actually tasting it. You like it? Do you like, oh, she ate some of the tea grinds. Do you like it, guys? It's so good for you. Go. Experiment. I love that this bird is very open-minded when it comes to food. It usually takes her a day or two um, to warm up to new foods, but she's very adventurous with trying foods, which I love. All right. She's liking those tea grinds. Mmm. Tasty, right? All right, so it's afternoon, so I'm feeding her her pellets. If you're new to the channel, these pellets are Topps pellets. They come from the U.S. Um, USD organic approved. Legaya loves them. Like, she just loves them so, so much. And um, it's not a complete pellet, meaning you still have to offer your veggies, your sprouts, and fruits every now and then, grains and seeds and such. Uh, but it is a very good high quality supplementary pellet to cover any other nutrients that might be missing from her diet. And now that we got this awesome tea, you are gonna be so nourished. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let her eat her pellets because when she starts eating her pellets, she starts to get really thirsty. So we'll watch to see what she thinks about the new tea. She's checking out the tea. She sees that it's a different color. It's okay. Don't worry, the moment I can tell she's a bit wary to drink, maybe because I'm here and I'm watching her, she's trying to figure out what's happening. I'm just gonna move away from the camera and see what she does. Okay, she totally sees the camera here. She's like, what's going on? This is a smart bird, by the way. She's only a year and a half old, but she's quite smart. Alright guys, so it's night time, mm-hmm, and guess what, I tried to catch her drinking, but I do know that she has been drinking it, her new tea, because I see pellets in there. Usually she will chew some pellets and then turn around and dip to have a drink, and some of the pellets will fall into the water. So it's good, she is actually drinking the tea that she got, which is great news! Do you like the new tea? Hmm? Yes? So now that I know that she's actually drinking the tea, I think from now on, we're gonna continue to put a little bit of tea, maybe try with a higher concentration of tea until the brew that we made runs out. So it's actually pretty cool to know that, like, see this tea brew? It will last quite a while. And this was only, what, a teaspoon and a half? And we still have a, pretty much a full bag and two other full bags to go. So, um... I really love this. I love this product. Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. Thank you so much for sending that. This will really, really benefit Legaya. Make her overall a happy bird, a healthy bird, and a nourished bird. There she goes. There we go. She's drinking the tea. Yay! Awesome. Good girl, Legaya. Do you like the taste of that? Mm-hmm. Oh, she really likes that tea. Amazing. Well, it's good for ya. Mm-hmm. 
So guys, if you have birds out there, whether you have a parrot or even small parrots like budgies or lovebirds or whatnot, and I'm assuming this is also good for chickens. <laughs> so we're, we might even start putting it in Hope's water. But if you are a bird owner, right, um, and would like to offer them some great organic herbal teas that are safe for birds, it eliminates all guesswork and is super enriched with vitamins and nutrients for your bird, be sure to visit Polly's Natural parrotboutique.com mm -hmm. they're based in London and uh, they were so kind enough to send us three packages of their teas and I know it will uh, it will benefit Ligaya I foresee this being good as well for birds with certain problems like let's say you have a bird that's plucking right and they say plucking can be the result of two things either a health issue like maybe they're they're lacking in certain nutrients or, or whatnot or through um, anxiety or stress right but these teas um, help with both those things because first of all they've got a lot of great vitamins and nutrients for your bird in the tea and it contains chamomile which is a calming tea so it can help with anxiety so maybe that might help your bird stop plucking who knows um, but I think this is a great product and uh, I'm on their Instagram right now and it really looks like they're doing great things be sure to get your avian tea now So there's some news that I have to share and it's very sad news. Now, it might not sound sad to a lot of you guys, um, but for those of you who watch my ant channel, all you AC family watching, you might understand why I'm sad, but there's some news that I have to share with you guys. And that news is 